हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड सीन हाउ टू कनेक्ट अवर जावा स्क्रिप्ट फाइल्स टू अवर एस टी एम एल पेजेस एज वेल एज हाउ लाइक एज वेल एज वी हैड सीन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल दैट वी एस कोड एंड नोट जी एस फॉर यूर सिस्टम एंड आई होप दैट यू गाइज हैव इंस्टॉल दैट so let us directly jump on to what are javascripts variable javascript variables so this is the very basic topic that i am going to taught you so most of you might think that what i am teaching is very basic but don't worry but don't worry guys you must you must need to revise the basics of javascript and as we progress along this javascript series i will taught you these topics in more detail okay so let us go on to our vs code and let's start coding so see i have my index.js file open over here first of all let me do one thing uh see you can do one thing you can create your index.js file over here in vs code as well other than that i have i will suggest one platform to you that is replit for running your js codes or any type of uh, programming if you are doing so replit is the very collaborative platform and just i can first of all let me just log in to it you just need to uh, log in to it by using your email id or you can just log in by using your google id itself so what i am doing first of all i am just going to create one repel repel is something kind of folder you can say so i want my uh, language to be node js okay and i am just creating repl by the name dev town okay and if you are guys if you guys are new to the channel you can follow me on repl so that you can access my code whenever i update it over here okay so first of all we have our index.js file open here as soon as we create our repl with node.js file node.js language correct so in index.js i can simply type on console.log the same thing that we previously did in vs code hello world and this is very easy to go platform just you, you need to click on this run and your code will get run in our in this console so right now you are able to see hello world is getting printed over here okay but in this video we are going to talking about what are variables in javascript so variable is something you can considered as a as a digit or a keyword which is storing some value okay so to explain a bit more about it let's say we have something known as var keyword that is variable so var is a short hand for variable only and var is the keyword which is used to store variables in javascript okay so let's say i am saying var a is equal to 9 let's say so yes this is the only line in which uh, this is the only way in which we can declare variables in javascript so what does this line say to you so see this var is the key keyword and this a is the identifier that this a is a variable okay so it is called as variable it is called as a uh, comparison operator okay or assignment operator you can call it this is not comparison actually okay so there, uh, this equal to is known as assignment operator and this 9 is the value that we want to assign to this particular a okay so next thing which i wanted to uh, uh, mention here is see in various languages there are various uh, variables that we can see but in javascript these variables are defined in very different way so let's say if we talking if we are talking about this another programming languages let's say c c++ java etc or if we talk about the scripting language so in scripting language more specifically about about javascript so in this particular language our this javascript is very loosely typed okay so we can have let's say uh, for this particular programming languages we need to declare a variable with their data types as well so those person who are familiar with c they might know that we need to declare integer with int variable like int keyword if you want to declare any uh, a num uh, numeric value which is having point inside that so we need to include this float keyword if you want to enter any string so there is a string 
for entering any character we have this scar over there and in case of javascript it is a very loosely and dynamic dynamically type language in which we just need to declare the variable with keyword var and we can assign any value to it let's say this is variable a let's say i am assigning 12 12 is a number first of all okay if i am changing this 12 to let's say my name vikrant so this will not give me any error this a will uh, store the the value of my name only here okay so that's that's the difference between loosely typed language and static language so javascript is a loosely typed language correct and programming language are statically typed language so that's the basic difference between this uh variables declaration in programming as well as uh, in programming and scripting language okay so that's the thing so let's say first of all we will do one thing we will just declare i have just de uh, declared a variable a with value assign as assign to it as 9 so we can do one thing see i am just declaring variable a over here in line number 3 and in this line i am assigning value to it okay so this line number 3 is known as what initialization initialization means i am just typing out the name that my uh, that a variable is present inside my code so that is the and i can use it anywhere i want and second line is just a declaration that i am assigning some value to the variable that i have initialized over uh, here on line number 3 okay so that's the thing and how to print this thing see console dot log and i am just typing a over here let's save it and let's run it see after running it i am getting 9 in my output okay so for for like for let's say commenting this we need to just click on control and slash okay adding two lines in the front of any uh, row will just comment it out okay so that's the comments in javascript and see what i have uh, taught you that we can assign any uh, any data type to our uh, very variable let's say i am assigning a name of dev town to this particular variable and if right now if i try to run over this see what i am getting i am getting dev town in my output okay so there's the difference between programming language and scripting language variable declaration so i hope you guys have gotten the idea how to declare variables in javascript and in the upcoming videos we are going to see what are different data types that are available in javascript and how to deal with them so i will see you in next video guys until then goodbye